Welcome back to the El Yucateco YouTube channel, everybody. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna to be doing a slow cooker beef vegetable stew for you. I'm also gonna be sharing some very important tips and tricks about using your slow cooker for any slow cooker meal. And it's coming up right now. Once again, welcome back to the channel. It's really nice to have you here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, or if this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and click the bell to get notifications anytime we release new content here on the channel. We're working hard to push out good recipes for you week after week, and we'd really love to have you hang out with us and give some of these recipes a try. You're gonna love them. As mentioned today, I'll be doing a beef vegetable stew. Now don't worry, as always, I'll have all the recipe details, cooking instructions, and show notes down in the description. So simply click show more if you're on your computer or click the arrow if you're on your phone and you'll get all the information down in the description box. Slow cooker meals are pretty easy for the most part, but there are some things you can do to get some more intensified flavor. I'm gonna show you a couple today. I've got about two to two and a half pounds here of beef stew meat. Now you can cut up chuck roast for this or any type of roast, round roast, sirloin, cut it into sizable pieces. Stews typically served with pretty chunky ingredients from the meat to the vegetables. So you can cut those down to your preference. Now as you cook anything in a slow cooker, the protein especially, in this case the beef, releases moisture. When it releases moisture, you tend to lose a little bit of flavor out of that meat. And so one trick that I've developed over many years of experimenting is to create a concentrate or a marinade for the meat to go in the night before. So for this recipe, I started with some beef broth. To that, I added Worcester sauce, minced garlic, onion powder, black pepper, oregano. I went ahead and gave that a good mix. Then I added my favorite ingredient for this marinade, which is some El Yucateco red. Gave that another good mix, and it was ready for the beef. So as I mentioned, I've got about two and a half pounds of beef stew meat here. I went ahead and poured that marinade over that beef, sealed it in a container, and refrigerated it overnight. This morning, it is ready for the slow cooker. So we're gonna go ahead and place this in the slow cooker at the bottom. Now we can pour the remainder of this marinade in. Now I know you've probably heard it's not safe to cook your food in marinade. That's not true. What you're not supposed to do is brush your food with marinade towards the end, and that's where people get confused. So this is perfectly safe to do, and it's gonna add a ton of flavor to this meal. Now we'll add our vegetables on top. We have some potatoes, carrots, onion. Next is celery, and an ingredient that I absolutely love in beef stew, adds a lot of flavor and helps with that vegetable flavor. We're gonna add some tomato juice. And for some added flavor, we're putting in some thyme, some dried chives, and two bay leaves. Now we just wanna get this worked in a little bit. Lastly, we're gonna add just enough beef broth to cover. So now we'll get this covered. Second important tip for you for slow cooking. I always like to cook anything I'm doing in a slow cooker on low. All of your ingredients are gonna maintain much more flavor now we have done this marinade, it's definitely gonna hold on to a ton of flavor, but cooking this on low is another thing that's very important. Last important tip that I'll go ahead and give you now is about one hour before you serve, whatever it is that you're serving in a slow cooker, change it to your warm or keep warm setting. Allow those temperatures to come down a little. That will also allow all the flavors to reabsorb into those ingredients. And it'll be perfect for you, your family, or your guests. So now it's just time to sit back, relax, give this a few hours to cook. I'll bring you back when this is ready to serve. So it's been about eight and a half hours and our beef stew is ready to go. Now you can see here, everything is very tender. It's cooked perfectly, but it's not mush. And that's the difference between running this on high and running this on a low heat. For the last hour, I did put this on the warm setting. So everything's had a chance to cool down. All those flavors have had a chance to reabsorb. Now, if you like your stew thicker, this would be an opportunity for you to add a gravy packet or a flour roux or some cornstarch. 
that's really personal preference. I like mine thinner. I'm gonna serve mine up just like this, but you can certainly thicken this up. Lots of different methods. I'll put a few ideas down for you in the description. Now there's nothing left to do but to serve this up. love to serve this up with a little bit of bread and butter and garnish it with some nice dried parsley. It's been a long day, I can't wait. Let's get into this. Start by dipping this bread. That is so delicious. The broth is so aromatic and I can definitely taste that El Yucateco coming through along with all those other flavors that we combine in that concentrate or marinade. All right, let's get a bite of this stew. Cheers, everybody. This is a great recipe that you've got to try at home and remember those slow cooker tips for anything you do in the slow cooker going forward. Low heat, keep warm the last hour, let all those flavors stay and marinate back into that food. So that's it for today. Take care, till next time, I'll see you on the next video.